ओके टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज बजट नाइन दिस इज द सेकंड टूल ऑफ ऑर्डिनल अप्रोच टू एनालाइज द कंज्यूमर बिहेवियर येस्टरडे वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट द इंडिफरेंस कर हाउ कंज्यूमर प्रिफरेंसिस कैन बी शोन बाय यूजिंग इंडिफरेंस कर सो टुडे आवर मेन थिंग इज वी आर वे टू स्टडी दैट इज द बजट लाइन वट डू मीन बाय बजट एक्चुअली बजट मीन्स वैन वी प्लान फॉर द अपकमिंग टाइम पीरियड विद इन आवर इनकम एंड हाउ इनकम इज रेज एंड हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू बी स्पेंड इन अ ब्रॉड कैटेगरी वी टॉक अबाउट बजट इज शोइंग अस द बैलेंस बिटवीन अर्निंग्स एंड स्पेंडिंग एट द फिजिकल लेवल एट द गवर्नमेंट लेवल गवर्नमेंट इज गोइंग टू प्लान द बजट फॉर द होल ईयर हाउ मच स्पेंडिंग इट इज गोइंग टू मेक थ्रू द ईयर एंड हाउ मच it is going to collect the tax revenue but in microeconomics we are talking about the budget line it will show us the consumers affordability what does it show consumers affordability so it shows it shows the affordability of consumer affordability of the consumer to buy two goods two goods x and y within his or her income and the given prices given prices of x and y all right so this is telling us what the consumers affordability affordability it can be measured by using the budget line now i am going to write it the budget equation first of all that's equal to m M denotes income. What does it show? Income that is equal to price of X multiplied by quantity of X plus price of Y multiplied by quantity of Y. This is called budget equation that all the income should be equal to the expenditures on the two goods. This is. This is actually expenditure on X. This is expenditure on good Y. So when all income is spent and consumer is able to afford both of the goods in different combinations, so that tells us nothing is safe. Whatever the income is there, it is going to be spent on these goods to be purchased by the consumers. Clear or not? So we say <coughs> when expenditures are lower than income, it shows that consumer is saving. And when expenditures are higher than income, it means he is going to borrow from some with him from his previous savings or from someone else. So right now, income is equal to expenditure. That's why we say this is the budget equation of the consumer. Clear? Now we are going to. derive the budget line from this equation <clears throat> for example yesterday or uh, day before yesterday i was talking about income is given 12 dollar and price of x is 2 dollar whereas price of y is 1 dollar okay again the same figures i am going to go to for in order to draw the budget line of the consumer now see This is the budget equation: price of x into quantity of x plus price of y into quantity of y. If quantity of y is zero, that consumer is not spending even a single dollar on good y. Rather, he is going to buy all of the commodity x. Then all his income will be equal to. the expenditures on 
x because this part will become zero. Clear? So how much of x he is able to buy within this income? So quantity of x is equal to <coughs> how much income divided by price of x. Clear? So how much is the income of consumer? Twelve dollar. And what is the price of x? Two dollar. So how many units of x could be purchased? Six. When he is not buying any of good buy. So this is called this is called what? Horizontal intercept of budget line. What does it call? Horizontal, Horizontal intercept. intercept of budget line how can we draw the budget line over here this is what x this is y this is zero this is m of price of x which is six units this is the horizontal intercept what does it show Alina? that shows when y is not purchased by the consumer all his income will be able to buy six units of x because his income is twelve dollar and he its price is two dollar, so not more than six he is able to buy. Now come towards the other intercept. If quantity of x is zero, then all his income will be spent on y. All right. So how many units of y is able to buy? M over price of y. That is twelve dollar over single dollar so that's equal to 12 units this is what this is the vertical intercept what it is vertical intercept of budget line now see this is the vertical intercept m over price of y that's equal to 12 units clear now I'm going to join these two points, horizontal and vertical intercepts. If they are joined by a line, so this is what? This is a budget line of the consumer. What it is? Budget, budget line of the consumer. If you say X and Y, when he is buying 6 units of X, there will be 0 unit of Y. Alright? So when he decreases 1 unit of x, he is able to buy 2 units of y. Again, he decreases 1 unit of x, so there will be 4 units of y. 3 and 6 units of y. 2 and 8. 1 and 10. And 0 and 12. So all these points of x and y, these are the affordable bundles of good x and y, which could be purchase within income of $12 and the prices of good X at $2 and $1. So these points are lying along this budget line. We say this budget line is showing us the consumer's affordability. Now that is show The consumer affordability within his income and the prices of goods X and Y. So Consumer, this budget line shows the consumer's affordability within income and the prices of goods X and Y. He cannot buy more than this within given income. Clear? So these are the possible bundles which could be afforded, which are lying along this budget line. Which are lying along this budget line. Alright? Should I go ahead? Now, come towards this side. What it is? Now, this budget line is downward sloping. What it is? No. Downward sloping. What does it mean by downward sloping? When we increase x, we have to decrease y. They move in opposite direction. If consumer is spending more on X, he is able to buy less of Y. Or if he buys more of Y, then he has to decrease the consumption of X. So it is downward sloping that they move in up 
quantities of x and y move in opposite direction. Clear? No, it is constant slope. What does it mean by constant slope? This is changing y, this is changing x. So every time a given quantity of y will be given up to exchange it for single unit of x. Now I am going to find the value of slope of this budget line. How to find the slope? The mathematics students. How to find the slope? By dividing rise over run. The vertical intercept over horizontal intercept. If I write over here, change in y over change in x is equal to negative sign is here because it is downward sloping. This is m over price of y divided by m over price of x. Now this is a double division. What it is? Double division. Can I write in this way m over price of y divided by m over price of x. Please be attentive. Alright. This is negative m over price of y multiplied by price of x over m. Clear? Now m is cancelled out. Okay. So what is the slope of budget line is minus price of x over price of y. Clear? This is what slope is change in y over change in x. This is minus price of x over price of y. Now look here. Price of x and quantity of x are inversely related as we studied in our demand analysis. When price increases, quantity of x will decrease. And same is happening with price of y and quantity of y. They are also reciprocal to each other. Now what is the value of slope? Price of x is $2 and price of y is $1. The answer is minus 2. What is the meaning of this minus 2? In order to have an extra unit of x, two units of y will be given up every time. Clear? Because price of x is $2 whereas price of y is $1. In order to have $2 for buying a single unit of x, the consumer has to decrease the consumption of y by two units. So what is the meaning? In order to have extra unit of x, two units of y should be given up. In this condition, whatever the income we took, income is $12 and price of x is $2 and price of y is single dollar. Alright? So in this case, if prices have changed, then slope will also change. Clear? Now, I am going to change the slope. How can we change the slope? By changing the prices. Now see what is happening. Basically, Now see, if price of x increases, if price of x increases to $4 instead of $2, so now price of x is $4. So what happens? Now how much quantity of x can be purchased now? Income over price of x, $12. Income is same. Is nominal income is same, but real income will decrease. What is the real income? The purchasing power of dollars, when prices have changed, the purchasing power of dollar or income will also change. Okay, now divide it by four dollar. So how many units maximum he can buy? Three. So I say this is what budget line before the price change, six and twelve. So when price has increased, budget line is now. It has become steeper. Yeah, very steeper. It means now instead of six, consumer will be able to afford only three. three. So when price of X increases, 
so buzzer line will have rotation inward it will rotate inward it will become steeper clear hai ki clear to yahan pe kya ho gaya it has become steeper when price of x ye humne kya ki price of x has increased for the so real purchasing power of income has decreased consumers real income has decreased because now he or she can afford less of x as its price has decreased its price has increased clear followed my point or not so when price of x decreases what happens if price of x decreases real income of consumer will increase instead of six now consumer will buy more suppose its price is now one dollar instead of two dollars so what happens what happens in this case what happens in this case when price of x is one dollar so consumer will be able to afford more of x so when price decreases for x commodity budget line will become flatter and consumer's real income will increase he is able to afford more of x as its prices stand up any question when price of x decreases budget line will become flatter or it will rotate rightward to afford more of x clear so what is what will happen when price of y is going to change what will happen when price of y is going to change for example if i say now price of y increases from 1 dollar to 2 dollar what happens budget line previously this was a budget line now price of y previously it was 1 dollar now it is 2 dollar so how many of maximum y units will be purchased so you can find income over price so m over price of y now 12 over 2 6 will be there previously he was able to buy 12 now due to increase in price of y budget line will have downward rotation from y axis kya hai downward ki flat ho gayi pehle usti clear or not so in this case what is happening when price of y is going to increase there will be pivotal shift of budget line from the vertical axis it is called pivotal shift or rotational shift okay if price of y if price of y decreases so what happens budget line will have more affordability to buy more of y now it is going to have outward shift pivotal outward shift from the y axis when price of y decreases clear so we said when prices of x and y they are going to change there will be change in the slope of the budget line when price of good x increases budget line will rotate inward and vice versa when price of x falls then it will have outward rotation from the x axis and when price of y increases it will have downward rotation from the y axis and other case is that when price of y decreases have over rotation from the y axis clear any point which is unclear to you sir m is equal to ye pehle humne likhi thi na ye to kitni ho chuki hai ye wohi maine dobara likh ke raise ho gaya okay now if income of the consumer is going to change now see instead of 12 dollar consumer income is now 24 dollar prices are not changing only his nominal income is going to increase so it means his affordability has increased so when income is 
instead of twelve dollar, it is twenty four dollar. Prices are same. So how much of X will be purchased? M over price of X, twenty four over two dollar. What will be the answer? Twelve. This is our previous budget line six and twelve. And now M over price of Y. 24 over 1 dollar, so it is 24 now. So we will have a parallel outward shift. Clear? When consumer income increases, budget line will have parallel. Outward shift. There is no change in slope of the budget line because prices haven't changed. There is no change in the slope of budget line. Only the nominal income of consumer has increased. Therefore, he or she can afford more of X and Y, both X and Y. जो पहले मैंने स्लो चेंज यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है कि व्हाट इज नाउ ड्यू टू इंक्रीज इन इनकम बजट लाइन विल हैव पैरेलल आउटवर्ड शिफ्ट सो इफ इनकम डिक्रीज इज बाय द कंज्यूमर सो व्हाट हैपेंस इफ इनकम इंस्टेड ऑफ ट्वेल्व डॉलर टू सिक्स डॉलर प्रीवियसली We are having six and twelve. So if income is now instead of twelve, it is now six dollar. So within six dollar, only three units of X will be purchased, and here it will be the six. So budget line will have parallel downward rotation, downward shift, parallel inward shift. If price, if income of the consumer is decreasing. Then there will be parallel downward shift of the budget line, and if income increases, there will be parallel outward shift of the budget line. This is our analysis or explanation about the budget line. How budget line is going to change when prices are going to change, or income of the consumer is going to change. Okay, that is uh, our concluding uh, class. That budget line shows what affordability of consumer and his affordability can change due to changes in prices of the goods or the nominal income of the consumer. So, in which direction his affordability will change? That depends upon the change in income and the prices. That's all. Clear?